Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about how to make our first submission to the sound demixing challenge. And for that, you can select the competition rules from somewhere from here. I have already selected it. That's why I see a tab called as create team. Once I have entered this competition, I can choose the track I want to work on. So for this tutorial, we are going to stick to the music demixing track. For this, we will have to download something called as a starter kit. And how you're going to find the starter kit? Either you can go through this fully explained documentation here and look for the starter kit somewhere at the bottom. So the easy to follow starter kit is going to send us on to the GitLab of AI Crowd. And this is where you're going to find this piece of code. And what we are going to do is we are going to fork starter kit so that we can start making our own local changes. So for that, uh, we can press this fork button. And if I'm going to press this button, it is going to ask me a couple of things. And then I can set the visibility level to be private. And I can fork the project. And it is going to ask me for the namespace. And I'm going to choose my username and I'm going to create a fork. So once I have the original starter kit forked, then I can create a clone of this project locally. So I'm going to copy the HTTPA path that we have from here and I'm going to fire up my terminal. And in the terminal, I'm going to have my virtual environment called as whatever name you would like for it. And here I would like to call the repository that we, we forked just now into our local system. So I can pass git clone and I can pass the starter kit HTTP that we just downloaded and uh, it might need a couple of credentials. So let me make a copy of it. So once I have cloned the entire repository that I have worked right now, what I can do is I can go to this folder called as SDX 23 music demixing track and I can start exploring the files that we have. So for that, you can fire up your favorite text editor or IDE, whatever you prefer. And uh, then it will show us a bunch of files here in the leftmost pane. And uh, there are a couple of files which are very important for the submission to the competition. One of this file is the aicrowd.json. So aicrowd.json file is responsible for choosing or switching between different tracks of the competition for example if you want to jump between leaderboard a let me quickly open AI crowd demixing challenge and if i go to music track you can see that there are several different tracks called as leaderboard a leaderboard b and leaderboard c and uh, here again uh, we can choose between different leaderboards using this flags so right now we are going to use the external data set. That's why we are going to set it to true. We are going to set the GPU to be true. And uh, we can set some description. Let's say submission samples for the, for the competition. And I'm going to create the author. Okay, so that's how I'm going to switch between different leaderboards. This means I'm going to stick to the leaderboard C, which is the public leaderboard where we can use external data and perform like standard music separation. Once done, we can start editing the main starter kit to integrate our models. So to integrate our models, we can go to my submission and in the my submission, there is one important file called as user config file. And this particular user config file is the one responsible for connecting your code to AI crowds evaluation wrappers. So there are a couple of baselines already provided. And if you go to the leaderboard, you can see the baseline UMXL or XM XMAX or DMAX bleeding and DMAX label noise here. And the other leaderboard B baseline code you can find over here and the leaderboard A baseline code you can find over here. So in our code, you can see that these all these three different leaderboards are available here. And if you want to make a local evaluation of these baselines, what you can do is you can uh, change, you can comment this out and comment that module to check if that particular code is actually working or not. So 
Before doing any of these, we are going to set up our environment. So for that, we are going to do pip install minus r requirements.py. This is going to install all the required files for the competition uh, that this particular starter kit is using. And apart from that, I would also like to do is comment this particular file out. Now, before running any of the baselines on our local uh, machine or evaluating it locally, we need to set up a few files. So if you go to the file called as evaluate locally, you will see that this file requires two folders called as the public data set and the evaluator output. So the public data set is where the evaluation input of your evaluation set can be kept and you can evaluate the, these models on your local data set. So for that, what I can do is I can go to my folder. This is my folder. I can create a folder called as public data set exactly as they have mentioned here and I can call it public hold on for a second underscore data set and in the public data set I can either have uh, the same folder name or I can just remove this and just call it a test set that will be easy for me so I can call it a test set and now in the test set we can place a couple of files whichever files you want for this sample submission, I'm going to show you uh, my evaluation on five files from MuseDB18. So I can go, let me, give me a second to quickly copy. And I can copy like three files and I'm going to place three files here in this folder. And once I have placed my files here, I can go back to open here and I can fire evaluate locally.py. But before firing this uh, file, before calling this file, what we are going to do is we are going to quickly check if these files exist or not. So first I'm going to start with the identity music separation model has to be somewhere. So I'm going to quickly check for the code here. So it's not doing anything. It's just copying the mixed array and giving the output. We can call it our first baseline or random submission. So if I run the Python evaluate locally file, it is going to demix all the three files and going to give us the output by calculating the scores over all three files. And we can see that we have received local output for the identity music separation model. Now, instead of identity music separation module, let's try to evaluate on the other library. So UMXL source separation music separation module. If we go back to this, um, you can see that there are references here on the top and it says how you are going to install everything. So I think for this, we will have to install open and mix. Um, I think it is already installed. So let me quickly check if I have set up this one. It is asking for more GPU. I don't have more GPU. Okay, so I cannot use it because the GPU requirements are a bit high and I don't have uh, enough GPU resource for me what i can do on the other hand is so this will take some time and it but now you have an idea of how exactly the evaluations are working so in order to write your own evaluation or your own inference script you will have to create a file here and you can call it whatever you want and then based on that uh, you can run a local inference system so like let's try to work with one of the latest uh baselines you can search for music and this is going to give me a lot of baselines that we have and what we are going to do is we are going to choose one of the baselines available and let me go with this particular baseline that we have and let me create a clone of this onto my local machine so i'm going to go back i'm going to do a git clone I'm going to copy this particular starter kit. And now to integrate the baseline with my starter kit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to baseline. I'm going to look for the files. I can see that my first entry point is my submission. So I'm going to do a cat of my submission and user config.py. And I can see that he is calling label noise music separation model. And there, there he has defined the MDX separation model. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to copy my submission um, user config. Uh, what else do we need? Actually, we we can also take um, mdxnet these two files i'm going to copy into my start kit sdx 23 start kit and my config my submissions i'm going to make copy of these two files and what else i can do i can copy the models and source from this particular folder into my folder and uh, i can go to sdx x and that's it that's what we're going to do i'm going to go back to my folder and i can see that the new files and models that i have added are now getting reflected into the folder and i can see the mdx net file label noise music separation model and mdx separation model is being called here and if i open the mdx label noise separation i can see that these particular files are getting called uh, these are the checkpoints and uh, this is the music separation function so what i can do is i can go do something like first of all i can install all his dependencies uh, by going to baseline to requirements.txt this is going to install everything for me fortunately i have everything locally installed uh, then I am going to evaluate the model locally again and uh, see what errors do I get. So I did not get any of the errors and fortunately the baseline works. It's going to demix for me first and then it is going to evaluate. So I can see that the score on my local evaluation set is something like this. And once I'm satisfied with the score, I will have to push my code to GitLab to make my first submission. So little more dependency that is important is called as Git LFS. So Git LFS stands for Git Large File Storage. And in order to install Git LFS, uh, you will have to do Git LFS install. And this is going to install Git LFS on your local machine. Now, I already have this LFS installed on my local machine, so it's not going to install, but you can install it. Please make sure that you have this before pushing your code. Now, once you have Git LFS installed, uh, we can make our first submission. So in order to make our first submission, what we can do is we can uh, call a particular script called as submit.sh. And uh, if you look at submit.sh, how to make our first submission, um, I think we can go back to our start kit. We go down here somewhere we can see how to make our first submission so it's submit.sh and you need to pass in the submit text so i can do submit before submitting first let's make sure that uh, all our settings are proper so here the label noise is false um, well we can make the label noise to be true uh, the bleeding is false and external data set used is also true. And now we can start to push the code. So this is going to be our baseline submission test one. I can change the mod and then I can call the submit.sh. That's going to be like that. So what we can do is we can do bash submit.sh. So it says that you will have to install AI Crowd CLI. And it gives you the command to install the AI Crowd CLI. So once you install the AI Crowd CLI, and in then you will have to do AI Crowd login. I think that's the right keyword. This is done in order to connect your API to, to AI Crowd's authentication service. Now it has been authorized. So you can see that GitLab has now been verified properly. So we can now finally make our first submission by calling the bash submit sh uh, baseline submission one or source instead of bash will also work so i will go for bash submit or sh baseline submission one press enter it is going to check for all the files going to add all the files create the first submission for me upload everything and then 
if I go back to my project, which is here, and if I go to the Issues tab, I can see that my baseline submission is now in the issues. And if I look at the graph here, it is going to show me the evaluation progress throughout this particular evaluation, after which we will be able to see our scores. So now that we can see our submission failed, we can look at the debug logs here and look for what exactly must have caused this problem. And if I go and look at the bottom of this, and it says no module named Hydra. And that's because I forgot to add uh, these two requirements into our into our uh, requirements file. So what I can do is I can go do a baseline to requirements.txt. I can copy all this and I can paste all this here along with that. So I can remove the duplicates and these additional could easily be installed. And then I can again submit with the submission too. And then again, it is going to in upload my code and then it is going to start the evaluation. And I can go to issues, look for my second evaluation. And now everything should be fine and uh, we will get a solution in the end. So let's see what the result comes out to be. So now our evaluation has been completed and now we can look at our scores by clicking here. So you can see that the challenge has been graded and you can see the result score, mean SDR, the values. So finally, with this, we were able to uh, make our first submission into the competition. And uh, now whatever problems you face, you can ask on the platform discussion or on the Discord group.